just over 100 years ago in the western United States emerged what we now call the Australian Shepherd. Yes, not Australia. However, recent studies suggest that these creatures are not even from the United States or this world even. They may have originated in the Gremlin underworld. Those 200 or so years ago, for the very first time, we had this creature looking at us with its adorable eyes and fluffy fur. But unbeknownst to us, this was just the beginning of the story of the biggest menace the world will ever see. Since the Osseas first emerged, so much has happened. They went from herding sheep and cattle to preferring naps on the couch while watching Bravo. They were once considered sacred creatures by Native American law, but now they're TikTok stars for being a bit, let me say, psychotic. The Osseas belonging within the dog species is even being reconsidered in recent years due to their deranged personalities. The Aussie is fascinating in every sense. They seem to actually enjoy terrorizing their communities, whether in the form of incessant barking recurring zoomies, or their need to shove their booty in people's faces to get a good scratch. On top of their terrorism, Aussies also love to be a menace in their own household. In the field, as professionals call this common Aussie personality trait, menace mode. Unlike most dogs, Aussies are not owned by humans. Rather, Aussies own their humans. Aussies decide when they want to eat, what they want to eat, and how they want to eat. The word no from a human does not register in an Aussie's mind. If an Aussie wants a bite of your dinner, he or she will get it, no matter what you may think, and they will use their adorable faces to persuade you if they must. The Aussie loves to run around, and essentially has no chill. If there is space, the Aussie will run in it. If there is limited space, the Aussie will still run around in that space, even if it means knocking someone down. However, do not let this fact trick you into thinking the Aussie does not relax. The Aussie is a master of relaxing and loves to sleep, and they tend to do it upside down with zero concern for if they are in the way of foot traffic or human sitting space. The Aussie starts its life as a baby menace, tricking their humans into thinking that this is regular puppy behavior. However, as the Aussie grows more and more powerful and large, he shows the same evolutionary traits as an alligator, coining the term Aussie Gator. Many humans mistake this as a teenager phase of any dog, but they soon learn that this is in fact a true form of Aussie. And the Aussie does not let their human forget their true selves. They will often show their menacing personalities on playdates with other dogs, showcasing that they are not like other dogs, reminding their humans that they are a menace mode Aussie. Aussies are extremely vocal, making their presence known at every waking moment. Actually, they are even vocal when they sleep so they make themselves known at every moment possible. As an example of how Aussies are a giant menace species, the Aussie's signature move is to bring a ball to their human to play fetch, then to refuse to drop it. The joy of the game for the Aussie comes from seeing the human struggle to continue reaching for the ball in its mouth. This is what as experts call Aussie torture. It's an incredibly interesting behavior studied for centuries by the industry's top menace researchers. Another classic move of Aussie torture is the Aussie bed stealing. The Aussie has a unique ability to sense vulnerable pockets in one's actions, so when their human gets up from the bed to use the restroom or to grab some water, the Aussie will immediately steal that spot. But this is not where the Aussie's menace mode ends. When the human returns from their task, the Aussie will refuse to leave the spot in bed, eventually forcing the human to sleep in the most uncomfortable position known to man. This is when the Aussie knows he is one and can return to sleeping elsewhere. For the first time ever, we have found a real human victim of their Aussie who has agreed to an interview with us here at the Good Floof Productions. Let's hear what they had to say. Hello, I am remaining anonymous in fear of retaliation from my Aussie, but I am speaking out in the spirit of education of this menace species. It all started when I got my Australian Shepherd in 2020. I thought I was getting an adorable, fluffy baby. On the first night, he peed on my foot and then pooped in my shoe. 
felt like a targeted attack, but I figured it was just a coincidence that he didn't do that anywhere else. Three years later, in learning this was, in fact, a targeted attack. My Aussie spends his entire day bringing me his toys, then refusing to let me touch them, then I take him on six hour hikes, only to come home to him zooming around my living room. Then, when in just walking around, he will herd me around the house and boot me with his nose as hard as he can. When I'm just relaxing on the couch, he is always watching me from around the corner. I feel watched 24 7. When I try to sleep, he takes up 98% of the bed and 100% of my pillow. I haven't slept in months. Unfortunately, when we reached back out to our anonymous interviewer a week later, he was found buried under 500 chucket balls. He is now recovering in the hospital and his Australian Shepherd is under police investigation. This absolutely fascinating animal is one that is often seen as adorable and harmless. But it is imperative that we educate the world on the Australian Shepherd's true nature, as not everyone is fit to befriend this menace.